Hi and welcome to Safe Driver Training. My name is William Grenz and in this video we'll discuss how to read the forklift data plate and load rating charts. Every new forklift must meet the minimum stability requirements. The stability of the forklift is measured on a tilt platform under various different dynamic factors with or without the load. The information gathered from various tests is recorded in a tilt table test and used to determine the maximum safe lifting capacity and create the data plate or load rating chart for this particular forklift model. That's why it is important to only handle the loads within the rated capacity of your forklift as shown on a load capacity plate or the forklift may tip forwards. On every forklift there should be either a load rating chart or data plate attached. Firstly, let's have a look at the data plate. The data plate fitted to the forklift shows information about the forklift such as forklift make and model, the fitted attachments, angle of the mass tilt, the tire information and the rated capacity with the maximum height and load centers. Also, it has a reference picture so you can visualize the presented information for you. For example, a letter B indicates the load center and letter A represents a lift height. To read the data plate, you must know the load center, the height you want to lift your load to and the mass position while lifting. Let's see how we can use this given information to determine whether we can lift the load safely. If my load center is 600 millimeters and I want to lift this pallet to the maximum height of 4.5 meters and my mass is tilted forward, the maximum capacity you can lift is 690 kgs. But if you keep the mass vertical, it can lift 1005 kgs. Tilting your mass forward decreases the capacity of your forklift because it increases the load center when load is at height, causing forklift tipping forwards. If you have the same load center of 600 millimeters but want to lift the load to the height of only 3.7 meters, I can only lift 845 kgs with this forklift. If we keep the mass vertical, the forklift can lift 1450 kgs. The general rule for lifting is, the higher you are, the less you can lift. The lower you are, the more you can lift. Also, on this data plate, you have increased load center information at 750 mm. As you can see, the weight of the load we can lift to the provided heights are much lesser. Because we simply increase our load center by only 150 mm. Let's have a look at the load rating chart. Just as a data plate, the load rating chart shows the maximum weight the forklift can lift, the various load centers and the declining line on the chart specifies the maximum weight limit at given height. Some forklifts have multi-staged mast, therefore you may have more than one maximum weight limit line at given height. I have marked them with different color for your convenience. The green one is 4000 mm. The blue one is 4,500 mm and the red is 5,000 mm. Knowing any two of the load and lift parameters, you can work out the third. For example, if we lift a standard chip pallet by the face of the forks, we have load center of 600 mm and the pallet weight is 2,000 kg. The intersection of these two parameters on the chart are below the maximum weight limit line which means that we can lift the load safely to the height of 4000 millimeters. When you check in your chart, the intersecting lines of your load and lift parameters must be below the maximum weight limit or on it to make sure you don't tip your forklift forwards. If we have the same 600 millimeter load center, but the weight of the load is 2400 kgs, the intersecting lines are above the maximum weight limit line, causing your forklift to tip forwards. Do not lift this load using this forklift. Simply split the load into two or if possible get a bigger forklift. Ok, let's do some examples for you, so you can see how easily we can navigate this chart, but this time we'll use the load rating chart from a forklift with multiple weight limit lines. What is the maximum height 
you can lift a load weighting 1600 kgs if the load center is 800 millimeters. So let's find and intersect the given parameters so we can find the maximum height. The intersection of 800 millimeter load center and the weight of 1600 kgs is right on the blue color maximum weight limit line at height of 4500 millimeters, which means we can lift the load safely to 4,500 millimeters. Please be careful as it will be the maximum height at given weight and load center. Even the smallest rough movement of your hydraulics can cause the forklift to tip forwards. So let's do one more example for you. What is the maximum weight can be lifted to 4,500 millimeters if the load center is 500 millimeters? The intersection of the lift parameters just in the middle between 2000 and 2200 kgs giving us the maximum weight of 2100 kgs. So let's do one more for you. What is the maximum weight can be lifted to 4000 millimeters height if the load center is 700 millimeters? The intersection of the lift perimeters is just in the quarter of the 2000 and 2200 kgs, giving us the maximum weight of 2050 kgs. I hope that by now you got the good idea of how to use these lifting charts. And now let's put your knowledge to the test. I have prepared some examples for you. Comment down below how many of them you got right. Alright, if you've got all the answers correct, push the like button under the video to secure your knowledge. And if not, please go through this video again to make sure you've got the right understanding of these materials. I have set up some time codes for you in the video description below. Remember, the longer the load center, the less the weight you can carry. The higher the mast, the less the lifting capacity of the forklift. Keep your load as low as possible when traveling, Make your mast vertical and check your data plate or load rating chart before lifting the load. I hope this video was helpful to you and we'll see you on the next one. As always, safe driving to you all.